In the men's 100-meter dash at the 2022 Diamond League Rome event, we saw one of the most dominant wins throughout the world this season. Running in lane five, we saw Fred Curley absolutely walk this world-class field, placing first with a time of 9.92 seconds. Now, this time ties his own season's best from 2022, and it once again ranks him as the fifth fastest athlete in the world this season. But upon review, something very interesting happened in this race that just might signify greatness for Fred Curley. Using the novel speed tracking system, which is one of the greatest pieces of technology ever invented, we can see that Fred Curley never slowed down throughout this entire 100 meters. This ability to continuously accelerate and hold his top end speed toward the end of a race is very rare, and it showcases the classic combination of strength and speed that makes a world-class sprinter almost unbeatable. Now, in last year's Olympics, we got to see this exact same speed tracker in the men's 100, and looking back on it, it was quite the dominant display from Lamont Marcel Jacobs, who was the fastest athlete in the field with a time of 9.80 seconds. But when we take a closer look at this Olympic final, we again see something quite amazing from Fred Curley. Although Jacobs was running faster than anyone else in the field for about 90% of this race, Fred Curley was actually the only athlete to surpass him in speed over the final 10 meters. Over this closing stage, he was actually the fastest closer by quite the large margin, but just take a moment and look at this graph that shows while everyone else in the field was slowing down, Fred Curley somehow managed to increase his speed over this closing stage. This 25 meter graph goes against all logic for the men's 100, it almost doesn't even make sense when you take a look at it. But then you see a race like this, where Fred Curley absolutely crushes the competition, and you remember that he has very unique abilities compared to his sprinting counterparts. Like many other athletes in the world in 2022, Fred Curley started to celebrate before he even hit the tape in this race. But according to this data, this didn't even slow him down, as he was in the green all the way through the finish, and it only turned red after he crossed the finish line. Also, Curley was the only athlete to hit 42 kilometers per hour in this race, meaning that his top end speed is certainly the best of the best. This 9.92 was again a very dominant mark, but it's pretty obvious that he has much more potential. Last year he ran a personal record of 9.84 during the Olympics, and if he can run the same type of race in this year's World Championships, he has a very solid chance not just to win a medal, but to possibly win the gold medal in the men's 100. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.